get perspective from my guest today, Roger Grobley, head of financial market analysis at LGD Capital. He joins us from the Lion City today. Roger, good to have you with us. Good Those missionary orders in February, far below economists' forecasts. Are you surprised? Not really, no, because uh, I'm following the machinery order because of the composition and I realize there is a change within the machinery uh, index actually away from uh, the more uh, electronic side, more towards the, uh, uh, the capex spending things. But this is actually uh, lower weighted in the index. But if you look back, the machinery index outperformed the topics by almost 2 percent year to date. And I think, you know, machinery order is not really a leading indicator. It's always a little bit of a lagging indicator and it's very volatile. So I do not be too disappointed by saying now, OK, the machinery order fell. Uh, this is a signal that the global recovery and capex spending is, is not uh, on track anymore. I don't think so. I just think that uh, it needs some time and this will uh, adjust. So I'm not pessimistic because of that. OK, so it doesn't really matter. Taking a look at the Japanese market, it was the worst performer among major markets back in 2009, but we're seeing pretty bullish sentiments among investors right now. Maryland saying yesterday it plans to increase its Japanese equity research coverage. Morgan Stanley CIO was saying Japan will outperform the U.S. as well as Europe this particular, particular year. What's your own reading? Uh, yes, there's always a some streams of optimism coming for the Japanese market. And uh, in December, we decided to overweight Japanese market quite substantially. And last Friday, we had our quarterly investment committee meeting, and we decided to uh, scale back to neutral. So we uh, take uh, money off the table from, from Japan, because we believe now that uh, there's not a clear signal that the Japanese economy will outperform the other mature market. We believe that this uh, is uh, going to react in line. However, uh, we have a couple of uh, excellent Japanese companies, and they might benefit from the global recovery. So having said that, we believe there are value, there are good investment opportunities, but uh, we do not believe that the topics and the Nikkei will outperform uh, the Eurostox 50 or the S&P 500 at all. Well, not outperform, but what levels are you looking at? Where, where do you see the Nikkei at the end of the year? Uh, the Nikkei can easily go to uh, 13, 14, uh, 15,000. This is no problem. And uh, it all depends about, about the yen, the, the, because if the yen is really going to weaken, if the trend is going to continue and, and we go close to 100, 105 against the US dollar, then certainly the export industry will uh, perform stronger and this will lift, uh, in particular, the Nikkei to, to five. And therefore, the uh, Nikkei can easily go to, to 15,000. That's absolutely achievable. However, if we have a surprise, and uh, as you could see, we do not see clear signals from the Bank of Japan. Uh, there's still many politicians talking about uh, uh, recession, cost cutting, and so on. So this can be a drag to the market as well. And investors normally, they're quite fast in shifting their money. So if they do not see a clear uh, mind change uh, mind, uh, in, in Japan, they're going to shift their money elsewhere. So this is a very very short-lasted uh, optimism. Hey, I want to take a look at your stock picks, but before that, Daiichi Life, it's uh, the world's biggest IPO of 2010. That took place yes. uh, the last week of uh, April 1st. It was, it was the biggest uh, in Japan since Entity Docomo, Docomo went public. What do you make of that stock? It was a very successful uh, placement, and I'm really glad that this happened so smoothly. And I think there's a lot of also Japanese uh, institutional investors bought into this. On the other side, just as uh, my two cents thought, is that why should I buy a life insurance company in, in a country where you have such an aging population with this demographic uh, future constellation? However, to be honest, I do not, uh, did not go into uh, the, the revenues of Daiichi. I do not know how much they achieve from, from outside Japan, so I have to do my homework first. But uh, definitely, I would prefer life insurance companies like in, in China or Korea rather than in Japan. Do you expect more IPOs in Japan this year? 
there's definitely a lot of liquidity around and uh, it depends if the uh, Japanese investors are more confident then I think that uh, there are more IPOs to come on the other side uh, if there are too many this will soak up the liquidity very fast and uh, we saw this last year where there was all of a sudden an overhang in stocks like in Nomura holding and this will hold back uh, the market performance so I hope that they will uh, bring some more IPOs but timely to the market condition uh, Roger, what's the biggest risk for the upcoming IPOs and the Japanese market as a whole? IPOs are always risky uh, to find uh, the risk appetite of the investors. So you have to leave a bit room for uh, some upside potential for the investors. And certainly, if a risk appetite is coming back, and it looks like because uh, equities are uh, the only alternative uh, in, in this uh, global environment when we're facing uh, some inflation trends and that means that there is money around so there might be a successful uh, opportunities for IPOs. The biggest track is that uh, the sentiment will change all of a sudden right. and then this can happen very fast.